Hello pilots of the internet. In this video, I am teaching you how to fold Bolt, the best distance paper airplane that I have designed and published to this channel. So it's going to be an amazing video. But first I want to announce that the Foldable Flight Paper Airplane Designers Contest is currently ongoing. So if you design your own paper airplanes and you want to see them featured on this channel, or you just want a chance at some of the cool prizes, be sure to head over to foldableflight.com slash contest where you can learn how to enter. Now, as you can see, Bolt is just a super slender design that looks amazing and it flies like an absolute beast. My best throws with this paper airplane are over 180 feet, and I would not be surprised if someone with a stronger arm than I have could throw this over 200 feet. Now, part of what makes it so good is it locks together in this three-dimensional shape. And I will mention the locking mechanism here is a little bit difficult to fold. So if you're willing to use just a little bit of tape to hold this together in that three-dimensional shape instead of the origami that's required, this becomes an easy or low-end intermediate paper airplane. So just decide for yourself which version you want to fold, and let's see this plane in flight. All you'll need in order to fold bolt is a sheet of eight and a half by 11 or A4 paper. If you want to do the easy version, you will also need a little bit of tape. Otherwise you can do an origami version that is more advanced. And with that, we're going to begin by folding the right edge to the left edge. And once you do that, go ahead and open your paper up so that that is a mountain fold and take this edge here to the center crease. And you'll do the same thing on the other side as well. Okay, you can open that up, flip the paper over, and now gather this crease between your forefinger and thumb and pull it almost to the center crease, but I like to leave about a quarter inch or half a centimeter between this edge and the center crease and make that edge parallel to the center crease as well. And you can crease like this and go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. I just estimate here and make my two sides the same, but you could even book match the two sides if you want this to be exactly symmetrical, which of course is ideal if you can manage it. Okay, and your plane should look like this. I'm not going to take this top edge here and fold right to this edge, but I'm going to leave just a millimeter gap here between this raw edge of the paper and that folded edge below it. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. And your paper should look like this. And now I'll take this edge here to that edge there. Again, I'm leaving just a tiny gap Same thing on the other side. And your plane should look like this. And now one more time, we're taking this edge here to this edge. Okay, and your plane should look like this. Now we'll go ahead and open up those folds we just made. And I'm going to take this little bottom edge here and fold to that crease right there, leaving just a tiny little gap. So it should look like that. And I'll do the same thing over here. This edge to that diagonal crease with a tiny little gap. And I'll close these sides back up to look like this. 
And now I'm going to take this and fold it right over that edge. And I'll fold the section that crossed this edge here back across. So this new crease I'm making should land right along the edge that's under it. And you can see that edge there is landing on that edge there. And now I'm folding this section back across so that the crease I make lands right along this outer edge. And we're just going to go back and forth a few times here. Okay, and I'll do the same thing, folding this back along that same edge, folding back the other way along the outer edge. And finally on this one, I'm going to bisect this top corner here. So I'm folding this edge to that edge. And it will look a little odd because a tiny bit of this paper will go beyond that edge we've been folding to, but that is okay. And when your paper looks like that, we're ready to do the other side. So I'm just pulling this along that edge behind it or on top of it. Folding back across this edge, landing this new crease on the edge that's behind it. Folding back so that this is aligned to the outer edge. Folding back across that inner edge, you get the idea, but it's just over and over again. We're narrowing the paper. One more time to the outer edge. And now I'm folding this edge here to this edge here. Okay, so your paper should look like this. And now we're basically going to reverse, if I open this up, this crease right here. So not the one that goes along this edge, but the next one, that crease is going to get reversed as we wrap all of this section here around this section. So you can see I'm opening up the plane, wrapping all of that around like that and closing my plane back up. And it will be a little difficult to close up, but try to roll it into place. The layers will be nice and thick at the front. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Just kind of opening this up, reversing this crease in preparation, and then tucking all this right around like that. And now you can see at the front, I've kind of closed up my two sides. All the layers tuck inside this edge. And at this point, I can kind of gently fold my plane in half, but you want to be careful at the front because it could tear if you're not kind to it, you gotta be nice and gentle. And if it does tear, then on your next attempt, you'll wanna leave a bigger gap in the middle than you did on this attempt. Okay, so I'm going to set the plane in this position and I'm now going to fold my wing, which involves taking this edge here to the bottom edge. And I'm actually looking at the back and you'll see why I'm looking at the back as I do this. And it's because these layers here become misaligned as you're folding. So you actually wanna look at this layer right here in that edge to fold to this edge. Also, you're going to really want to roll the front section and that's actually where I like to start my crease because the layers are so thick there, it's really tough and you're not even gonna get a great crease all the way up to the front of your plane. It's just not really possible because of how thick those layers are. And once you do one wing, I actually unfold it when I do the other wing which is atypical, but it's really hard to fold both wings together at the same time. So that's about as good as I'm going to get that wing crease. And I'll flip the paper over and now go ahead and do this side. So I'm rolling those layers at the front that are really thick and then folding and landing this edge here along that back edge. just working that crease as far to the nose as I can. And 
and that's a decent attempt anyways. And you can see we are almost done with this plane. If you are using tape, you literally just plot, apply a little bit of tape right there and a little bit of tape to hold these extra flaps down and you are done. You can skip to the end of the video where I explain exactly how to tune this plane. If you are making origami version of this plane, we have some steps to make. So I'm going to leave this plane here and we're going to talk about the steps that lock this plane together using a big version of the rear half of this plane. So you can see this is just the back half of our plane and I've already got some creases pre-creased. But basically, you're going to be folding like this on the next step, taking this little short edge to the crease of your wing. And you can see on our major one, our big one here, I've already done that. So the back edge going to that wing crease like that and doing that same thing on the other side and then open that up and fold this edge to that crease you made. And with this one closed, fold this edge to the crease you made. And then we're going to open this one and actually reverse this crease here. And then fold in on this crease there, mountain folding, so that goes behind. And here you can see we have this first tab. And basically we're going to be locking these tabs together. And it's a little bit complicated, but I'm hoping by showing you on this big one that you'll be able to see on camera and understand. So as I close this up, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this little short tab in behind this side here. So I'll go ahead and do that. That's the first step. And then I'm going to kind of open this pocket on the left as much as I can and roll these two flaps together on these next creases. So basically I'm rolling the two flaps together again like that but it's going around this other layer of the plane. So let me lock that together again for stage one. Sorry, stage one locks like that. And now I'm kind of opening that pocket as much as I can and rolling them together on their existing crease as tightly as I can. And I know that's really tough. And then letting the paper close back up and you can see that will lock the back edge completely together and your nose should be locked too. So let's move back to the small plane. Okay, so now that your plane is all locked together in the back, we have just a couple steps left. And the first is to note the point where this layer wraps around here and kind of begin pulling this layer. And basically you're going to crease from that point there to right the top of your wing crease right here in the back. So just pull it down, crease between those two points. And then you're going to take this whole flap you made and reverse it and kind of tuck it inside the wing. So it goes in just like that and tucks behind everything. Looks like that. And then we'll flip it over and do the same thing. And there you go. And now we are just going to set our wings and we are at the point where we are just making the final adjustments to our plane. Now, if you throw it as it is, it's probably going to nose down a little bit. And so you probably will need just a little bit of up elevator on the back edge, but I would encourage you to throw your plane before you make that decision. And it's also probably going to spiral either counterclockwise or clockwise as you throw it. And if you make any adjustments to correct that, you're going to want to make those adjustments right here at the top of the portion you hold as very small bins on the back edge. Small adjustments go a really long way on this. And uh, you're going to want to, for instance, if it spins counterclockwise, bend it to the right. And if it spins clockwise, bend this side to the left. And again, very, very small adjustments. So thank you so much for watching this video and good luck flying your plane. Thank you so much to all of my patrons who are supporting this channel and making these videos possible. You can become the pilot of your favorite foldable flight paper airplane and your name will appear next to the paper airplane you choose in each of my YouTube videos. So head over to patreon.com slash foldable flight and join the foldable fleet today.